now we're going to talk about a DDoS attack. So uh, here we see a bad actor. He is sitting up in a public uh, coffee shop and he decides he wants to launch a volumetric DDoS attack using a publicly available cloud service. The service costs only about $10 an hour, so he selects a four-hour window and he schedules the attack. The service initiates a botnet which triggers thousands of compromised PCs and a network of high-volume content management web servers to execute the attack. But if this weren't bad enough, it's actually just uh, designed to be a diversion. While our IT is busy figuring out how to get services back online, the real attack is happening in the background. In this case, it's a more targeted exploit based on a known vulnerability. Now, the thing about DDoS attacks is that they're, they're pretty inexpensive. Prices vary from $3 per day up to $400 to $600 per week, and it provides hackers everything they need to have a guaranteed DDoS uh, attack, guaranteed in the sense that there are service level agreements in some services that ensure that the target website will be knocked offline as promised. And yet, DDoS attacks are extremely expensive for the victim. Uh, recent research shows that it can cost between $600,000 and a million dollars each year from costs related to downtime. And we've also found that fewer than 25% of enterprises actually have DDoS protection in place, which um, probably should change soon given that DDoS attacks are increasing by nearly 60% year over year. So let's see what happens when we put some uh, Juniper technology in place. Juniper's technology is called uh, DDoS Secure. And unlike other DDoS protection technologies that rely on signatures or thresholds for detection, DDoS Secure uh, uses heuristics and it compares the request and response of the traffic. Uh, another way to say that, it, it looks at the full life cycle of the packet, the ingress and the egress, to determine if, the, if there's, um, if there's a, a disparity there and uh, therefore pointing to a potential attack. So this bi-directional traffic analysis and inspection will tell us which IP addresses can be trusted and which pose a risk. And DDoS Secure will respond to risks in real time by dropping suspicious or non-compliant packets, thereby preventing the attack from across the data center. This ensures availability for legitimate users while blocking bad traffic, even under the most extreme conditions. Speaking of which, if a volumetric attack gets so bad that it's filling the pipe, DDoS Secure can issue a BGP redirect up to the service provider, which will direct um, just the identified traffic to a scrubbing surface, while allowing the non-attack traffic to continue without interruption. Furthermore, because Juniper Secure Analytics is alerted to the DDoS attack through DDoS Secure, it can turn up log analysis and event correlation alerts, knowing that a secondary attack may well be underway, as is often the case here. So one of the values of Juniper's DDoS Secure is um, is that it installs really quickly and easily. It doesn't need to be uh, configured. It, you don't need to set threshold. It's based on heuristics, which is behavioral uh, patterns. And so time to protection is minimized. You install it within 24 hours, it's nearly 85% effective without having to do anything.